Hey, what's up, everybody? So, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm pretty excited to show you guys how to edit your video right from your iPhone. So, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what are the most important tools and transition and animations, and I will make it quick and easy to follow so that you will be able to edit your own video in the future. Okay, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so the app that I'm using to edit my videos on the iPhone is called iMovie. So iMovie is a free app which you can find on the App Store. So launch the app, you can see this page, and then just create new project. You can choose between trailer or movie, it's up to you. But the thing is that the trailer seems to be shorter because this is just for the uh, already existing template for you to uh, just a little bit so please go to movie so in movie now it's time for you to uh, choose the videos or photos that you want to uh, work on so I'm going to the uh, video folder recently added okay these are my videos that I'm going to work on right now so this one I click on tick one more tick one more tick one more tick tick so so far I have selected five different clips then uh, click on create movie as you can see from uh, the half screen of the phone is called the preview where you can uh, view your own uh, project or the videos that you are working on and the other half screen as you can see the gray here which is called the timeline Okay, which is similar to the Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere if you are one of the uh, video editors using those applications. So the timelines, just use your finger to drag on the gray area to move the you know, video from the beginning to an end. Another feature on the timeline, you can use your two fingers. Just put your two fingers and spread it and you will see what happens right now. Just do like this okay so doing this you are expanding your videos and do you know why do we need to expand a video the reason is because we want to cut the clips or to split so that is easy for us to delete the part that we don't want in this video so yeah doing that again the drag it around as you can see from this part you can see my camera is a bit shaking yeah so it's not really good this is not what I want so I want the video start from this one because it's, it looks smoother so click on the video the next part which I'm going to tell you is as you can see from the bottom here you can see split detach duplicate and delete so now let's talk about split so as I move the videos and expanded the clips just to see which part that I don't want to exist in this video the white line here is the cursor so just put the cursors there and click on split so when I split you can see now I have one more clip in the front okay so click on that clip and click on delete so now I can get rid of the clip I don't want and now as you can see my video start right from the part that I want so I click play so the video start from here which is awesome okay the next feature is called detach so what is detach detach means you try to separate the video and the audio into different uh, files but you can later delete the audio that you don't want for example recording this video the audio in that place is very noisy so I don't want that audio because I want to add my own background music my favorite background music so I just click on the clip and I click on the word detach as you can see now the blue line here is the audio of that video if I play it you can hear the sound of that that uh, video so again I don't want it so I click on the audio and I click delete 
click on the video again and you can see duplicate so it's easy sometimes you want to uh, make a copy of that video put it somewhere in your video so you can do that by choosing duplicate okay now let's move on to the next part which is all about functions below the features that i have just mentioned as you can see the first icon is the scissors so the scissors mean a place where you can use the split, detach, duplicate and delete. But now let's move on to the next icon, which looks similar to a clock. By the icon suggests, it means this is a place where you can uh, speed up your video, you can slow down your video or you can uh, freeze it. For example, I want to make the video faster. So I just click on the video and I drag it here. So as you can see, the video is getting smaller. So when I play it, the video just run quickly. Just click on the video and if I drag it back, the video will just go slowly, okay? So it's too slow and it's not smooth. So uh, just drag it back a little bit. Okay, one more time. Yeah, it's much better now. Yes, yeah, better. It depends on your camera setting, the frame rate that you use on your camera. Because the frame rate is very important. If you set a wrong frame rate, it's not going to work very well on video editing software. The next uh, feature is freeze. So you want to freeze which part you want to freeze over here for example you can see the line here the white line it means the video is frozen okay so i don't want the video to be frozen so click on the that freeze uh, line the white line here and then click on the freeze so it's back to normal next is the audio so as you can see the audio here no more audio because i already had, at the moment as i show you i detach the video from the audio and I deleted uh, the audio so let's move on to the second clips if I click on the second clip you can see I can uh, play around with the value of this clip instead of touching the clips from the audio you can uh, drag the audio all the way down to zero meaning that this clip now has no sound which is similar to uh, detaching the clip from the video and delete the video so you can do that Okay, one more, so it's faster, right? It's easier and faster. The next part is letter T. So letter T is where you can add the text for your videos. So click on letter T, you can see different style, different uh, text animations. So you get all of this. And you can see also another options we can use like center and lower. For example, yeah, you don't want this, the text to be center and that big, you can Lower. The first option of the text, you can see opening, middle, and closing. So the text just go from one place to another. But start from the second one, the second option, you have got only two different styles like center or lower. So let me choose this and put it opening so it's bigger and it's up there. Click on the text. Yeah, now I'm able to edit it. Click done then i can play the video then yeah, i can say welcome to my trip app so but the problem is as you can see for this whole clip the text is there so i don't want this text to be that long for example i want it to appear just a few seconds just welcome to my trip episode and then it just disappear right here so to do this you cannot control the text but what you can do is to split the clip click on the clip and then go to Caesar's icon and split. So now you have different clips within the same clip. As you can see, when I play it, welcome to my trip episode and move on to the next clip, no more text on it. The last function of the IVE movie is how to color grade your video. As you can see my video here, some people like this color, the natural color, but some people just don't. So they need to add to different colors they want to play around with. For example, uh, let's choose Western. Okay, so now let's apply one more. So click on this, this one, click Western. Okay, so I get the same color. However, if you don't want to spend much time because you know that for the rest of the clips, you're going to use the same color. So what you can do is just to click on this setting button 
and then you can go to Western, the first one, the project filter. You go to Western and click done. So the rest of your video will have the same color. So you don't have to go uh, to add uh, from clips to clips. Because imagine if you are working on uh, 20 clips. Because normally when we are making traveling videos, we are trying to film different clips. I normally have about 50 clips every time I go to a new place. So that is the point where you should understand that uh, having this option is a plus when editing the videos. Okay, so the next thing that I would like to talk about is the transition. So how to add transition? You can see from one clip to another, you can see uh, in the middle here, this is called transition. So just click on that one and then you can play around with different transitions. As you can see, it's very nice. And within that slide transition, just click on it one more, you have the option. You have another option uh, like uh, another style of this kind of slide. So yeah, from the left to the right. So it depends. The style of wipe is similar. So I think from the left to the right is pretty much better to look at this scene. As you can see, it's amazing, right? Within that transition, you can also have like timing for transition to be like how long you want transition to be. Like I want it to be a bit faster. So okay, yeah, it's too fast. Or I can put it like two second so one by one okay or just 1.5 which is good I think it looks good now so again as you can see the second clip it seemed a bit shaky here a bit shaky so I will start my video from here so click on the video uh, split so there's no split button probably because of the transition so no worry what you can do next is just use your finger and drag the big line uh, yellow line here and drag it back from here now I can see it looks good now so I can play it yeah it's amazing right it's awesome now so how long I want the video to be so I think it should be from here. Drag it again. Yeah, as you can see uh, in here, there is a split button available. So again, at the moment it's because of the transition because I put the transition a bit longer so it might overlap to that part. So just split it, click on that video and delete. The last one that I would like to talk about in this tutorial is how to add audio. So what you can do is just to click Plus button you can also add more clips if you want but I think it's enough for me just to show you guys all of these uh, tutorial so you can click on Oyo. You, you, you can see here you have the soundtracks the soundtracks are free and they are available right from your iMovie however sometimes you want your favorite music you want your favorite background music or your songs so you're not going to like it so you can go to my music this is a place where you can import from your computer and access it from your music the next one is sound effects you can also add sound effect to your video just one thing that i want you to know is if importing the music or your favorite songs from computer to your iphone is too complicated for you you don't have to do that what you can do is just to go to your iCloud and upload your favorite song to your cloud drive and then you can access your audio from cloud drive here and others because I put in the other folder so this is my background music so I just click on the background music and it's there okay it's amazing right and let me just add a photo okay just add a photo it's there so the reason why I add a photo here is the reason why I add a photo here is I just want to show you the uh, so what you have to do is to move your cursor where you want to add the sound effect okay just click on the plus button and go to audio sound effect and search for here plus boom is here so when I play it and at the end I can also mention 
uh, can add the text like uh, thank you for watching yes, yes thank you for watching so I don't want the thank you for watching to appear from the beginning of the clip okay so again what we can do is to split it but you cannot split this because this is a photo so if you cannot split this it's easy just drag the photo where you want it to be and then duplicate yeah make a copy so with this I don't want it to have thank you for watching so I put none because I want thank you for watching to appear from here drag it back it's too long okay guys so last but not least from this video tutorial is to save your clip so in order to save your clip is to click done to save your videos is to click on this button and then scroll to save video and then you will be asked to choose the size of your clip so the best option is to go with HD 1080p so click on that your movie was exported to your photo library just click OK and then let's go and check the library let's check the photo yeah the movie is here at the end yeah this is the movie that's it guys thank you so much for watching and hope you guys understand and are able to edit your video right now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and share and like if you like the video okay so if you have any questions don't forget to leave your comment down below so that I can respond to you and try my best to solve your problems see you guys in the next one